Hello everyone, this is Jade Noble back at the another video. Today I have about hundred dollars in Habs to go through. Um, I bought some from the bank. Um, I'm splitting up into several different videos and I wanted to share what I find. So here's the first roll. We'll see if we find anything. Interesting edge there, but it looks like it's just crud on it. Also didn't hear anything at 72 Denver. We'll see if we can find anything, 71, 80. I'm also looking for varieties. No FGs and um, double dies on like the 74 stuff. I can see with the naked eye. Um, that's what I like looking at. I don't really like getting the um, scope out to look through things. Um, I think if you have to see it with a microscope or like with a loop, um, I'm like, well, this doesn't seem that cool to me, so, um, yeah. I like looking at stuff I can see with the naked eye. It's more efficient, and usually the stuff you can see with the naked eye is worth more than the stuff you can see under a scope. Um, those minor varieties condition is such super important, but on the more rare stuff, um, you can, you can do good even in poor conditions on the rare varieties and the more pronounced ones, but. Roll. I've been going through these and I have noticed that they're pretty circulated, a lot of them. Um, so these have probably been gone through, but I'm hoping that they're not all the rolls, because some of the rolls are different, as you can see down there. I'm hoping that they're not all from the same person. So maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe run into a little bit of a collection of that. May it will at least find an area that a lot of people don't work for, so. But, yep, you just never know what you're gonna find. So, keep looking. 72 Denver, the no FG, but it's got it. 72 Denver, no FG is worth quite a bit, um, especially in uncirculated condition. Um, you're looking at several hundred dollars, so uh, definitely a good coin to look out for. I thought I found one, but it's sort of borderline. Um, I might have it, I'll probably never submit it. It's not worth submitting, but you pretty much can't see any of the FG in order for it to count. So, um, um, that's what makes it pretty hard. Just not seeing anything so far, but... Nice centennial. I also found uh, some Eisenhower dollars when I bought these rolls. That's what made me end up buying all of them. Um, I originally wasn't going to buy all of them because there's quite a few rolls, but I bet at least give it a shot. Let's just see if there is anything. Well, I'm going to hurry. I'm still going to have to go and dump them, so might as well buy them all if you can. All right. to Denver. Bicentennial, so nothing so far. find something that would be cool. Yeah, and I'm sorry the videos have been pretty slow, guys. Um, the coin market has just been absolutely insane lately. Um, I, I just can't get anything. I bought quite a few coins in 2021. I was really surprised I did. But with everything that's going on, um, coin market has just been super high like even like the more niche stuff um like commemoratives and and proofs and and just like the non-silver stuff that i've sort of been collecting lately has just been um going up and up and up i've only bought um one thing this year and that was that benjamin franklin proof set 
you guys probably seen if you looked at my previous videos and that's it and at the moment i am doubtful i will be buying anything soon unless i just find something that is good is reasonable um, i mean what comes up must always come down they say and i don't know how long the coin market will be this high but i just don't really like buying much in a high market Let's if I can just really find a good deal because I know what the market has done in the past and it got pretty low there I'm just about four or five years ago so um, if you buy a lot of coins right now um, and at you know three or four years from now you might be like crap um, I invest all this money and I I'm just gonna have to wait until the higher um, until it goes higher again, just to unload if you're in it, at least somewhat for the investment. Um, I'm in it for both. I like to collect, but I also like the investment side. So, um, I, uh, I love to hear your guys' thoughts on that, but if it's, uh, if it, if it's so high right now, like, like, more than dollars. I haven't bought hardly any. Um, I've not bought a graded Morgan since um, the like late 2020. I think I bought one maybe, or maybe I I don't remember the last one I bought. I know I completed the Carson City collection, um, but I can't remember if it was early 2021. It was like late 2020, but um, if I would have waited any longer, the coin I bought there, which I didn't even think I got a good deal, would have been another 50 to to $100 more right now. And the Morgan dollars have gone up a lot. Um, I know they're, they're great over time and they usually go up, but they do fall. Um, and I mean, I don't feel like it'll stay like this forever. Um, I feel like the coin market will fall at some point, and if you're buying a lot right now, um, you're probably not going to be too happy, um, and, um, four to five years from now, um, because, I mean, some of these coins are just going for crazy price, I mean, I did think a lot of this stuff was undervalued not that long ago, but, and do I think it'll hit the lows that it hit before? No, but I do see it falling, not, not, um, I want to say it'll be a, a good two, three years down the road, it might be longer than that, I don't know when it'll fall, but it will fall, so I've really um, cut back. I'm buying, also I've been focusing on my business. Um, I do lawn and landscaping. I was actually even thinking about doing some videos on like new equipment I'd bought. But I know this is a coin based channel. So, I mean, you guys can put in the comments though if, um, if uh, you would like. You know, I don't know if you guys run lawn care businesses or, uh, or have um, big property that you have that you need commercial equipment on, but I was thinking about doing um, reviews on different equipment I bought. Um, I don't really want to start a new channel though, but um, I, I just really want to make this one coin based, but I am open to doing um, some lawn care stuff because I do have like some mowers that are like commercial residential, but most of them are full commercial, but I have some that residential people might buy if you have like a big property um i sort of like and i know what good the good equipment is i've been doing it long enough um and i'm not specific to one brand either so um i have quite a few actually different brands so i can always get the positives and the negatives but i will not be doing just like long care videos that just takes too much time setting up camera and watching somebody mow. <laughs> I watch some people that do that, but I just like their talking and what 
talk about the business side. Not really so much the mowing. I mean, I do that all the time. So I don't really like watching other people mow grass that much. Um, I'm more of into the equipment and like the business side, like business tips and stuff. So, but yeah, we got two more rolls left here. Um, not been too much, but um, I like to hear you guys' opinion on what you think the coin market will do. Um, I think the next year or two, it will still be. Um, the next year or two, I think it'll still be high. But I do believe um, in the future that it will go back down. So I don't know what you guys think. Do you think it's still a good time to invest in coins? Um, I am still buying coins. I really wanted to get... Oh, hey, hold up one here. Oh, man, I thought that was an OFG, guys. I mean, it is faded. Check this. You can just see a little bit. I'm going to put it off to the side, but look. Super light, no FG. It's definitely possible. The 72 Denver right here, guys, could be a possible no FG, um, which is pretty cool. But, yeah, I'd like to hear your guys' opinion um, on the coin community. Um, I liked, I think right now is a good time to be doing the coin roll hunting if you don't want to spend money because this is, you know, you're just paying face value. But if you're like me, you can't really get on the sealed rolls. Um, you're sort of stuck. I mean, um, do you think it's still a good time, though, to be buying coins? I'm really not sure. Um, I am still looking, but I'm very picky. On what I pay, I'm not falling into the trap at all on buying coins. Um, I, uh, I think that they're... It's still deals out there, but do um, you think that it's a good time maybe to maybe do more coin roll hunting and not so much just buying coins because the market is so high? Um, do you think that the market will drop or do you think it'll just continue to go up? I always say what must come up must go down. And I think there's still some more um, hype that it could go to, but. See, I'm more of a guy who doesn't really need to sell right now. Um, I sort of wanted to hold on to it for the long haul. Because a lot of stuff I bought, I know I can't get it for the same price. And uh, I don't really need to pay off anything right now. So, um, I like to just hold it. Like, especially like silver and whatnot. But, if you are, I think this is a great time to sell. And I think the next year, this will probably be the best year from what I've seen. It looks even better in 2021. Um, stuff's just going crazy, so. But yeah, no, um, I'd like to hear you guys thought. Please comment below on that. Um, fortunately, we didn't really find much. This is a nice 89, not capable, but I did find this 72. Um, possible no FG here, guys. Um, it's a nice example, too. I think I can see just a little bit of remnants of the FG, but you can comment on that, too. I think I see a little bit, but man, it is close. So, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and uh, please comment below on your thoughts on the on the coin market and what you think. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon, guys. Bye.